take me down to this paradise where the mountains meet the beauty of the lake, where the trees towers the forest, where the river flows wild and free, and where steep and winding roads awake your adventurous spirit. The endless twists and turns led us to this beautiful state. Yes, I accidentally deleted the majority of the files for this trip. On a positive note, we still have footage from our phones, GoPros, and our drone. Not enough, but some to help put life into our story. But that is not why we are here. We are here to see what North Carolina has to offer with regards to overlanding. Our first two days bring us high up into the Appalachian Mountains, to the captivating Lake Santitla. Just two hours south of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, this is the perfect place to experience the cool breeze from the mountain while paddling on a pristine lake. About 80% of the 76-mile shoreline is in the Nantahala National Forest. If that is too much for you to cover in one day, you will find dispersed or wild camping around the lake. However, we have seen only three camps with lake access that you are allowed to drive your vehicle into. Our favorite part about this place is the campsites that are only accessible by watercraft. Some of it is not even on the map. We eventually found one. This is where we spent most of our afternoon before heading to our next destination. Next time though, we will bring a small tent to spend the night on this beautiful island. And something to hold the garbage out. What a sad sight. It's a beautiful campsite, but people are trashing it. Why? As mentioned at the start of this video, I tried to teach Max how to swim. It would have been nice to look back on this experience, but it is what it is. After a refreshing swim, we head on to our next stop. Stop the clocks, the bees are humming In between the contrasts of our soul
after paddling in Lake Santitla, we did an easy hike in Joyce Kelmer Memorial Forest. But this story will have to be told some other time. Your destination is on the left. Then we are back on the road, exploring a well-known path for motorcycling enthusiasts, the Charohala Skyway. After driving long and windy roads, we had enough of today's exploration. Besides, the sun was getting low, and it was about that time to find our second camp in Nantahala National Forest. We are nearing the halfway mark for our water supply. So the goal today is to find a camp, preferably near a natural water source. Of course, it needs to be somewhere remote and wild. Not far from where we camped, we came across the old iron bridge. Located at the trailhead of a two-mile hike that runs along the mighty Chattooga River, it is a famous area to kick back and take a respite from the summer heat. Despite the name Old Iron Bridge, it was only built in 1934, and it's certainly not the oldest bridge we have come across. I recall reading stories online about how sketchy this bridge is when driving across it. But to finally see it in person, the bridge looks and feels structurally sound. But what really piques our curiosity is what's beneath this bridge. This rushing water eventually bleeds into Lake Hartwell, which soon becomes the Savannah River, dumping all this fresh water into the Atlantic Ocean. This river divides South Carolina from Georgia for almost its entire journey. And the early stage of that journey begins near this old iron bridge. After our little side trip, we are back on the pavement, occasionally stopping to stretch our legs and to take in gorgeous views from overlooks. It wasn't long before we were back on dirt roads. By this time, we are in Pisca National Forest on our way to our third camp for this trip.
We were looking for a natural water source and found more than we hoped for. This camp has no cell service for Verizon and Google Fi. It is remote, is how we like our campsites. That said, after setting up camp, we made our location known to one of our trusted contacts. You can't be too cautious when you're out here in the wild. It's summertime, so we are not surprised by the number of bugs in our camp. But having this many butterflies is a pleasant surprise. This was fun while it lasted. The stream was too shallow, but deep enough to have a relaxing dip. Unlike Lake Santidla, we had this place all for ourselves. For some people, isolation might be a scary thought. But for us, this is paradise. We woke up to a brisk morning. The sun just made it past the mountains. It was an ideal time to check out the nearby trail. Rated as most difficult, I did not see any markers for how long this trail was going to be. As I climb in elevation, the path got narrower. I noticed traces of bike tracks all over. This seems to be a famous spot for mountain bikers. Let's see if I'll be able to reach the end.
I would love to see where this trail ends. But for my peace of mind, an hour is all I'm comfortable spending out on the trail away from mom and Max. So I retraced my steps back to our camp, took a little break, and we were off to find our next campsite. So far, we have camped by the lake and by the river. We couldn't think of a better way to escape the summer heat but to climb up to Old North Carolina 105. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago and pine for the old days of yore. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. That runs from the mountain so tall. Oh, take me back down the old road. If you're coming from the south entrance and wish to watch the sunset, the best camps are on your left. And if you're a morning person just like us, sunrise is to your right. With or without the best views for sunrise or sunset, I was ready to call it a day and set up camp on this site. But mom made a good point. We came here for the beautiful views of the gorge. I am glad I listened to her. A few miles down this road, we found a better campsite. It doesn't have the panoramic view that we were hoping for, but a beautiful sight nonetheless. As always, the camera doesn't do it justice. Just be careful with your kids or pets. It's a long way down. We are beside the Linville Gorge Wilderness Area and a few airfields nearby. A quick check on my Plex Pilot app tells me where I can legally fly the drone. But out of respect for the many hikers and bikers in the area, I chose not to do so. Why yes. 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 Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? I see a baby giraffe. Looking at Camp number four is all about movie night and watching the sun's rays travel through the gorge. But as I said, sunrise is on the right side and we totally missed it. It's not a telephone. No, I'm trying to look through it. The next morning, we continued driving north 
on Old North Carolina 105. About 20 minutes later, we stopped to check the Weissman View Scenic Overlook. Named after Lafayette Weissman, or better known as Uncle Faith, back in the 1800s, these overlooks were his favorite camping area, while taking out salt licks for the cattle grazing the mountains in the summer months. This is the easiest way to see Linville Gorge without any climbing. So far, this is the best overlook we have seen in North Carolina. From here, you can hear the rapids from the Linville River. It's easy to understand why this is dubbed the Grand Canyon of Eastern America. Someone looks tired. This was our cue to get back in the car. Mom decided to stay with Max while I went on a short hike to the upper portion of Linville Falls. This trail is only half a mile from where we parked. They won't have to wait that long. portion is much more picturesque and you'll be able to see the actual falls but it requires a longer hike to get to it we will get there next time we were planning to do one more hike but first, we must find camp. This boy needs to eat. We have been extremely lucky with the weather for the past five days. This timber rattlesnake seems to know that we are about to run out of luck. Well, I guess that's a wrap for this trip. Don't you worry, North Carolina, we will be back. And next time, we will bring more memory cards.